Hi, my name is Marcelo Baez and I'm a comic book illustrator and teacher from Sydney. Welcome back to the Sketch Your Own Comic Book with my friends at Stockland. And now, before we get started, if you look below this video, you'll see a Download Workshop Material button. You'll need to click on that button to download the workshop material, so you can print it out and follow along with me at home. If you did miss the first and second workshop where we focused on comic characters and character design, then don't worry at all. All you need to do is click on the left button next to this video and you'll be able to play workshop number one and workshop number two, comic character videos. And just remember, if you don't have a printer, you don't need to worry at all. You can still complete these workshops with some pens and paper. Alternatively, you might decide to print out a few of the pages only in black and white. Visual Storytelling Workshop is going to teach you the three basic concepts of making better comics and visualising them from different angles and different perspectives. Visual storytelling is probably the most important thing in comics because even without the words, you want your comics to make sense and look clear and easy to read in the sense that you're not reading the words, but you're reading the pictures. Telling stories is important to me because it's exciting and it's I feel like everything is story. When you talk to people, when you're meeting with friends or family, you're always telling things, you're telling stories, you're telling about what you did this, when you did that. And the great thing I like is that you're doing it in comics, you're doing it with pictures and with words. Comics have a very powerful effect on people. They change people's minds, they change people's perspectives, they help people look at things from totally different angles and just have new ideas and feel inspired, which I think is what we all need. But let's talk about the three basic panels that exist in all comic books and visual storytelling. The first one is long shot, second one is medium shot, and the third one is a close up. The long shot. The long shot is also an establishing shot. It's a shot where you'll see an image of say a background, you'll see a building, you may see like a house, you may see a landscape. So basically it's establishing where your characters are going or where they are. So that's an establishing shot or long shot. And then you have a medium shot. Now a medium shot is a, a closer panel where the, the images have more of a balance. So the characters on each panel will be more balanced within each other. So there may be Say for example, one character like attacking another character, but the camera will be quite a lot of the figure. You may not see the feet or the legs, but you'll see most of the figure. So that's more of a balanced shot. So that's a medium shot. And then you've got a close up. Now a close up shot is a very popular shot because that's when you come in on a face. But the important thing about a close up is it should show emotion. So you come in close for a close up to show emotion and an extreme close up might just be the eyes or may just be an extreme close-up of a mouth or something that shows a bit of emotion. So they're the three basic establishing shots. When designing a scene, you need two very important questions. What is the purpose of the scene? And the second question you need to ask yourself is what is the primary emotion of that scene? If you just remember those two, that'll really help your storytelling. Let's talk about thumbnails. Now thumbnails, I'm not talking about these thumbnails, I'm talking about drawing thumbnails. Thumbnails are tiny little comic pages that help you plan your comic books. Now, I'll show you what I mean. They only need to be, there's no standard size for a thumbnail and they can be as rough as you want. So for this example, I'm gonna draw a square that represents the page. Draw a second square inside. So there's one, two, three. So that represents the page and those panel one, panel two, and panel three. And then inside here, you'll draw very basic versions of what you want to draw for the final drawing. So in this case, I'm just zooming in, a very basic zoom in of a character, medium shot, getting a close up and extreme close up. So thumbnails, you can see by where my pen is and where my hand is, it's very, very tiny. You don't need to worry about adding lots of detail. Thumbnails are just like a little, like a, a map for yourself. If you can visually read thumbnails, that's all that matters. No one else needs to be able to understand what they mean. You can write yourself little notes on the side. You can write little things like, this needs to be a character. You can write, oh, this is a close-up. So later on, when you refer to your thumbnails, it makes sense to you. So it's basically simple little guides. I always draw them very simply with stick figures. I might add little bits in the background that may represent a city and whatever else, whatever sort of action is happening, very, very simple, very rough. The rougher the better, because with thumbnails, you want to spend a lot of time filling up pages and pages of them until you get them right. 
So when you get these right, then you spend less time messing around on the actual finished artwork. Okay, now it's your turn. Now that you've practiced doing some thumbnails, here's what we're gonna do. You can grab a new sheet of paper. And you can start with drawing a simple three panel page. Now you can do this any, any, which, any size you like. You can make your panels go across this way as well, if you like, this is totally up to you. Now panels should run from left to right and top to bottom. So if you think about the arrow, the direction it's going, it goes this one, two, three. In this case, it goes that direction. So the arrows, that's panel one, panel two, panel three. All right, so then if I've got another one over here, another example here, I wanna teach you a little concept, which is a lot of fun. And this is what we're gonna do. The first panel, we're gonna design a very simple character, like a simple plain character. Again, this case is gonna be very basic. Now this character is gonna be turning into another character, like transforming sort of thing. So panel one, he's gonna look like a plain character. And in the end, we're gonna change him into say like the Hulk, it's gonna transform into a, say a monster. So then in the last one here, say the character turns into a spiky character with big teeth. And again, this could be very rough because you're drawing very small. So it's up to you to design the page how you like. So what I'm saying is you draw the first one, very simple. You leave the middle one and you draw the final character. Okay, so now here's the fun bit. What you do is now you work out what the middle look would be for a character that's plain and then turns into a spiky character. So it's up to you if you wanna put the character in the center of the panel or any part of this panel. So what I would suggest is you start with a small character and with the biggest character. So in the middle, it should be a medium sized character. So the character here might be like a side view and maybe just a few little spikes starting to come out. Again, this is very rough and you can add more detail when you draw your final drawing. So basically for designing characters that are transforming across three panels, on one page. So panel one, panel two, panel three. Again, I've arranged this differently again. So this one, I might start with a close up of a character looking worried. I'll skip the second panel and the last panel. It may turn into say like a giant lizard. That's the last character. Very, very basic, very simple. And again, and then you'd work out what that middle drawing will look like. It'll look half human, half lizard. However you want to do it, it's totally up to you. Maybe the teeth are coming out. So you keep that rough, and then that becomes your plan for your bigger drawing. Moving on with the thumbnails, to help you out, we've supplied the workbook with an actual page of some scaled down versions of a comic book page. So feel free to use these, print them out or copy them off your screen. This concludes workshop number three of Sketch Your Own Comic Book, thanks to my friends at Stockland. Well done everyone. This workshop concludes part one of visual storytelling. As I mentioned in the previous two workshops, I'd love the chance to see your creations. All you need to do is upload the photo of your creation to the wall. You'll see at the bottom of this page, there's an upload button. You can also explore the wall by clicking on the wall tab. Your creations will then live on the Stockland wall where you'll be able to check out some other cool creations. The top 20 most creative creations will be sent a signed book of the Super Australians. This is a comic book which features some of my very own illustrations and the top two winners will be sent a signed limited edition print of mine. The competition closes at 11.59 p.m. on Monday the 4th of October. So I'll be judging these creations based on creativity, exciting visual storytelling, but I don't mind what style it's in. So whatever style you want to draw it in, that's completely fine. I'm looking for originality and something exciting, and I want to see the real movement from panel one to panel three. I like to see the change really more from one to two to three. And remember, you can use your panels going sideways, or if they can go straight down, it's totally up to you. My name is Marcelo and it's been a pleasure to host this third workshop for you today, where we explored the power of visual storytelling in comics. 
Thank you to Stockland for making this possible, and I look forward to seeing you in workshop number four, where we'll be taking a deeper dive into visual storytelling. And for our fourth and final workshop, we'll be breaking down an action scene. So I'm going to show you how an action scene works from different perspectives, and it'll look really exciting. Stay inspired, and hope to see you very soon.